unsweet revenge. Honey? Let's do it. Yay! My dear, this is specially for you. Thank you for the 15 years of serene happiness. Misha, you know my weaknesses. It's a real masterpiece. God, I love sweets, and thank goodness I can eat them as much as I want and not get fat. Or else, with a baker husband. Yes, honey. For you, I'm willing to switch to diet cakes. Sorry to carve this beauty, but I have to. That's right. Thank you. Well? Come on, carve it. Who will get? Give me the plate, quick. The first piece. Thank you. Enjoy, dear guests. I'm not offering Marisha a piece. She needs to lose weight, but I would offer a piece to your husband, Petya. By the way, where is Petya? Why is he not here? He couldn't come, Falil. I see. Vitusha, you definitely must propose a toast. Silence. Attention, please. Well... My son is speaking. Misha, Mom, congratulations on your anniversary. I'm very thankful for your love and that we are a family, as it's true that a father isn't the one who gave birth to you, but the one who raised you. Misha, Dad, thank you for becoming my father. To you. Thank you, son. God willing. Well, did I smell it? Don't be silly. Such a good kid. He really is. Thank you, thank you, Vitsusha. I really hope that on our next anniversary you will give grandkids for me and your mom. No, he won't. It's too early for me to become a grandma. You got that? Yes, yes, of course. Sorry, darling. I didn't think of that. Treat yourselves. Come on. Please, enjoy. Carve smaller pieces. I've missed you so much. We saw each other in the morning. I've missed you so much. Anya, aren't you tired of this secrecy yet? We had a deal. Vitya, your mother is the restaurant owner. She will definitely not want me as her daughter-in-law, although I'm a perfect wife. I don't even have a mother-in-law as a bonus. But your mother needs at least an innocent princess, and I don't want to lose my job. Come here. Marina, have you seen Vitya? He was just here. He went with Denise somewhere. Luda, you have to stop with this total control of yours. My godson is a grown boy now. He is my son. He has been and always will be. You won't understand this, Marina. You don't have kids. That's an interesting twist. Ludmila Viktorovna, I'm very sorry, I have to... Uh, Anya. Aren't you cold, son? Mom. What are you doing here? That's what I want to ask you. Well... I was going to make love to my girlfriend. Mind how you talk to your mother. Don't you think it's at least vulgar? Mom, I'm not 15. I don't need your control. Tomorrow, she won't be here. Don't you understand that she is not a good fit for you? Mom, look. If you fire Anya, I will marry her. Keep that in mind. Over my dead body. Why do you have to leave today, Donut? I feel so bad. No one loves me. And this carrierist wants to take my son away from me. Do you see that he chose her over me? Why aren't you saying anything? Ludochka, darling, we already talked about this yesterday. 
He hasn't traded you for anyone. We all love you very much. I adore you. You're my goddess. Don't get upset. Come back soon. I already miss you. Don't break my heart, my love. I miss you already, too. But you insisted that I take part in this international bakery tournament yourself. This will raise the status of our restaurant, as you understand. No, I don't. I don't understand why participants can't take their wives to the cruise. Sweetheart, I gotta go. I'll call you when I arrive. Don't be sad. Unwrap the presents you like that. Don't be sad. I love you. You're the best. Bye, Donut. Call me when you get there. Fantastic. So, God, how tasteless. They save on everything. I wonder who's this from? Could have signed it at least. Guess they didn't want to be embarrassed. I wonder, a heart. What? That's what I'm talking about. Wow. What's this? God. They got the right thing. My favorite. I wonder what's this? No signature. Who is that? What is this? It's... Who is this? This can't be... Oh my god! What nonsense! Pick up the phone. Please answer. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Bastard! Bastard! You came. I missed you so much. Sweetie, I wish you knew how much I missed you. How are you? Well? Everything is good, thanks. Mom? Dad's here. Misha. You've been gone for so long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. Work, you know how it is. Why are we standing here? You must be hungry from your journey. I would eat a bull. I would eat you. Go wash your hands. I'll make your favorite in Kali. All right. Daddy, let me get that. Right. Anya, you know I'd be happy to. It's just... It's just work. You're just like your father. 
Although not a real one, you both are total workaholics. Yeah, you got that right. Misha's upbringing. You know what I think? Since your mom knows that we are seeing each other anyway, and it looks like she's not firing me, how about we move in together? Anya, you know how I feel about common-law marriage. And marriage in general. And that's very weird. You have a very good example of your parents. They're happy together. It's more of an exception. Have you seen the divorce statistics? I don't care about official marriage. And that's why I don't know the statistics and I've offered to move in together purely for household reasons, yes? I want to optimize time. We're both at work, we don't have time for dates, and I miss you very much times. At times? Have you forgotten? I'm a cat who walks by herself. What? You heard me. By yourself? Alone? Mom. Daddy, when will you finally quit? You can't earn all the money. Yes, our daughter's right. Honey, you know that money doesn't grow on trees. Too bad. It's impossible to find a decent job these days. How about you tell me whether you can move your exams so that the three of us can go on a cruise? No, Daddy, some other time. I'm so happy that you will finally go on vacation together. Caribbean cruise on your anniversary. 25 years is a good date. Why are we sitting here? What? We have to leave soon and the suitcases aren't packed yet. I forgot to pack our first aid kit. She's starting to fuss. Mom, stop. Am I a pharmacist or what? I'll pack you your first aid kit in no time. You do that. Misha. It's been going on for too long. It's time to put an end to this gamble. I'm tired of lying to Katya about your business trips. Let's break this love triangle. Inka, you know perfectly well that I'm not doing this for pleasure, but for our family. You know that. Misha, I'm tired. I'm also tired, Inka. I perfectly remember what poverty is. If I divorce right now, I will get nothing because all of Lutka's fortune is her first husband's inheritance. I've told you about that. I want to speed up the process, but I can't withdraw too much out of the family budget. This would be suspicious. We need to wait. How much longer? A year to ten? I'm sorry. I'm just nervous. Of course you're right. Yes, we need to hang on, but I'm so tired of sharing you with another. Ludmila, it's just work for me. You know perfectly well that I love you and our daughter. I'm doing everything for you to have everything you need and so that we don't need anything. Oh, you are so sweet. But hurry up. I've packed your first aid kit, but I won't be able to hold the plane. We haven't called the taxi. See? I'll get a taxi. Go get the documents ready. Hey, Nina. Where's mom? Ludmila Vasilevna is in her room. She saw off your father and unwrapped the presents in the morning, and I haven't seen her after that. She's probably still resting. Still? Go wake her up. Tell her I'm here. Yes, of course. Thanks.
Lyudmila Vasilivna, can I come in? Your son is here. Lyudmila Vasilivna. Victor is here. Lyudmila Vasilivna. Wake up. Yes, I've sent everything. I'll call you back. Nina, what's going on? She won't wake up. Mom? Mom? Mommy? Mom? 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 I think she took sleeping pills. Stop crying. Call an ambulance. She is cold. Nina, call an ambulance now. Okay. Mom. Mommy. Mommy, breathe. Mom. Mom. Once again, I'm telling you, my mom couldn't have killed herself. She was a very strong person. Believe me, even the strongest people have moments of despair. But unlike the weak, these people make decisions fast. But we'll check all scenarios, of course. You don't understand. My mom was crazy about life. She took care of her health. She did everything to prolong her life. And she was terrified of death. Death and blood. That explains why she chose sleeping pills and alcohol. No blood, no agony. Oh, God, I came in and they were taking her out on the stretcher. What happened? Stop, stop. This won't bring Mom back. I'm sorry. I'm usually more reserved, but... Luda was like a sister to me. This is Aunt Marina, my godmother and our family attorney. Vladimir. Killing herself? I can't wrap my mind around it. Lyuda is the last person to do that. I've already told that to the detective. Have you reached her husband? No, I tried, but the number is unavailable. Most likely he is on a plane right now. I have quite a weird request for you. Don't tell him about the suicide. Tell him it was an accident. I don't understand why. I told you, we must check all scenarios. Do you have suspicions? I don't. It's purely a technical moment. I must consider all possible scenarios. Again, my condolences. Thanks. Take care. I'll see you out. No need. I know the way. They can't do a day without me. Ludmila? Well? That's odd. Victor? Father. Answer. I can't. Do you want me to do it? Fine. Hello, Vita. Who is this? Hello, Misha. Hi. Yes, Marina. Vitya is busy at the moment. He forgot his cell phone in the office. Misha, something bad happened. An accident. No, no, Vitya is fine. It's Luda.
What? What do you mean she died? What are you talking about? What do you mean she died? I don't get it, Marina. Is this a bad joke? Are you crazy? What happened? Misha, look, there is this hitch. Quiet. Yes. Yes, Marina. Of course. No, I'll try to make it, of course. It's just that... I'm on the ship now, yeah? I'll try, of course. Yes. What? So he won't be coming? No, that's a grieving widower. Misha said he would try. But he's on a cruise right now. It's really problematic to get to the airport for him right now. The funeral is in three days. It's enough time to get anywhere if you want to. What happened? There is a problem. I urgently need to go home. What? You want to ruin my vacation because of that fake family? I've been waiting for this joint vacation for so many years. Inga, don't be dramatic. You know what, honey? Don't you dare leave me alone on a cruise here. I'm tired of being on the outskirts of your life. If you leave right now, you can forget about coming back home to us. Our condolences. Hang in there. Hang in there, brother. He never came. Maybe he couldn't. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Where else would I be? Vitya, I talked to the detective, but maybe now is not a good time. No. I want to know what he found. To be honest, I wish he didn't. For 15 years, he's been living with two families, bastard. He has a daughter. He said he didn't have children. I'm afraid that's not all. What could be worse? The detective said he is on cruise right now. I know that. With his second wife.
my mother is in a grave, and he's having fun with another at her expense. I won't let him get away with this. He will pay for everything. For every teardrop of hers. For her death. I'll kill him. Vita, look, there is no need for a crime. You won't kill him, but you'll go to prison. Revenge is the dish best served cold. What do you mean? You can survive physical pain, but not the spiritual one. If you hit, then hit on the weakest spot. Do you think he has one? He does. His lovely daughter, Katya. Oh, Kolya, you know, I want to fall in love like my mommy did. At first sight with my prince, my soulmate, and live happily ever after with him. You girls are all dreamers. But you, as a medic, should understand that there are no soulmates. Why not? They're only raging hormones and passion. As for princes, I think a monarch is of no use in a household. A pharmacist is another thing. Wait, wait. A pharmacist like you? What's so funny? Pharmacist sounds... brutal, by the way. Don't miss your training, brute. Don't forget about the rehearsal tonight. Have I ever? Have I ever? God, I'm so sorry. It's just that you... The road is slippery. It wasn't on purpose. Did I scare you? I can get you to a hospital if you want. No, I can't go to a hospital. I have a pharmaceutical chemistry exam tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you don't want a hospital, maybe... Cafe as an apology? But I don't even know your name. Victor. Katya. Nice to meet you. Now you know. Something like that. Wow. Yeah, finding a cure for cancer is a global dream. Yeah. I think that if you dream big, you achieve big. I don't know, it's kind of stupid to waste your talent on small things. Okay, tell me. Do your parents support you with your dreams? Yes, I have an awesome family. They believe in me. What do they do? Your father, for example? Oh, my dad is a very good baker. And your mom? My mommy is a hairdresser. She's a housewife, mostly. I'm just talking about myself. Tell me something about yourself. Who are your parents? Mine have died. Both of them. Not so long ago. I'm sorry. My condolences. Car accident. You could say that. Sorry, I have to go to work. Sorry, I'm the one yapping away. Sorry. 
Hey, stop. Don't even think about it. I'll pay. You know, I'm not used to having coffee at someone else's expense. Well, at least let me give you a ride. It's okay. It's not far. It was very nice to meet you. Bye. See you. Bye. Did you meet her? I was about to call you. Vitya, please say something. I'm nervous. I wish I didn't meet her. Aunt Marina, I'm not much of an Avenger. This Katya is not like her father at all. It's like kicking a puppy, honestly. She looks at you with these trusting eyes and wags her tail. Vitusha, how many times have I told you to never believe us women under no pretext? You included? I'm not a woman, I'm your godmother. Vita, think about it. Mikhail impudently lied to your mom, to you and all of us, and we believed him. Why would she be any better? She is his daughter. You haven't spoken with her. She thinks her father is a saint. What did you expect? For her to immediately tell all the unpleasant secrets of her family just like that? You think she's... a professional hypocrite? I wonder... does her mother know about the second wife? She does. They think of his. Tells everyone that she's married to Mikhail, although officially they've been divorced for a long time now. You know, I doubt very much that such parents would have a decent daughter. It's true that Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Well, what do you say? It's okay, I think. Why are you so, um... What? Up in the clouds. Did something happen? I did, my sweet Piro. I think I met my prince today. Is that the one on a white horse? On a big black car. Does it matter? Are you serious? Yes. His name is Victor, and I like him a lot. Too bad we probably won't see each other again. He forgot to ask me for my number for some reason. Looks like you didn't impress your prince too much. Kolya, you should have studied to be a surgeon, not a pharmacist. Why do you have to be so blunt with the girl? You should have thought of something so it wouldn't be so hurtful. Maybe he forgot to ask because he was distracted. Well, then you, Katya, should have studied to be an ophthalmologist. Why is that? Because then you would have known that all rose-colored glasses break glass inside. Fine. The heck with that prince. Show yourself. That's it. This makeup is much better. Do it for the performance tomorrow. Okay. Hello, Kolya. I'm downstairs. Are you coming? Victor? Hi. What are you doing here? I mean, hi. Waiting for you. Here. It's for you. Thanks. How did you know where I live? Stopped by your faculty. Do you work as a princess? Part-time. Wow. Who's that? Sorry. That is the one. No, Katya, don't even try it. Out of your league. Hey, man. What do you want from her? Keep in mind that if you hurt her, you'll have to deal with me. Kolya, go wait in the car, please. I'm going, going. Go on. Hurry up, because we're late. 
Your boyfriend. What? Him? No. He's a friend, neighbor, classmate. We've been together since childhood. And Piero at the same time. Damn it. Maybe I could give you a ride, because it looks like you'll be trying to start it until nightfall. Kolya? 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 I curse the day when my mother gave me this piece of junk. Kolya, he is offering us a ride. You said it yourself that we are late. What if he's some psycho? I don't get in the psycho's cars, and you shouldn't either. Well, suit yourself, and I'm not going to be late. Thanks. I'm so glad you found me. I thought we weren't gonna see each other again. Sorry I didn't get your number back then. I was perplexed, to be honest. It's not every day that you hit pedestrians. Listen, maybe it's the Stockholm Syndrome you're developing. It's when a victim defends their abductor. Don't mind him. He is more adequate, usually. What did I say? Stop over there. We're here. Here? Yeah. Cancer treatment center? Yes. Thanks for the right. Well, my dear friend Piero, shall we? See ya. I've got your number. See you later. Leave her alone. Excuse me? Hello. Have you seen a princess and Piero? Yes, yes, it's right here, down the hall and first door on the left. Oh, thanks. Are you ready, kids? Yeah! Yay! Then repeat after me. And now let's clap. One, two, three. Now let's tell the sickness to go away. Go away! Warm sunshine will make us happy and will never be sad again. Come on. Yay! I'm confused, Dan. So confused. I don't know how to figure out whether that person is a hypocrite or not. Elementary, my dear Watson. You need to get her drunk. All the secrets will start pouring in. Hey, that's a good idea. You're a genius, man. Well, since it's your idea, you're gonna help me. No, I'm not gonna make a barbecue. You don't have to make a barbecue. We're talking about a posh dinner with an appetizer and something stronger. With an appetizer? I just don't get why you need Anya drunk. She's yours anyway. After Ludmila's death, she thinks she's owner. We're not talking about Anya. Who then? It's better if you don't know for now. Are you for real? When it's a posh dinner with an appetizer, it's Dan help. And when I ask who it is for, then our many years of friendship doesn't count, right? 
All right, all right. I'm seeing my stepfather's daughter. Misha has a daughter? Yep. And a second wife. Can you imagine? No way. Yeah, you're right. I wish I didn't know. I would have slept better. Kolya, we need to think of a new script. The kids loved it so much. Of course they did. They were delighted with my bureau. You're so self-critical. How did I manage to forget my keys and my mom isn't back home yet? I have Pilov. Want some? Sure. What would you do without me? I would have died of starvation. Is it him? What makes you say that? Because he lit up like a Christmas tree. Katya, I don't like this. Jealous? Concerned. Just look at him. He's packed. Richy rich. Yeah, right. Maybe even he's courting you as a bet. So he couldn't like me for who I am? No. No offense, but he's out of your league. Guys like him prefer tuned dolls. Don't think everyone in the same. Maybe he liked me. Otherwise, why else would he waste time on me? That's what I'd like to know. Or maybe it's love? The one? Katya, are you kidding me? Open your eyes. He's just playing you. He'll be sorry when he uses you and throws you away like he used good. Thanks for the support, my friend. I didn't know you think so highly of me. Katya, if you don't change your mind, I will tell your parents. Let Aunt Inga wash your brain. I don't want to be the one to blame. Look, I'm an adult. And I will figure out with whom to socialize myself. Wonderful. Then don't say I didn't warn you. Kolya, where are you going? What about Thanks. the pilaf? I'm fed up. Well, shall we have another glass? No, not for me. I never normally drink this much. But I want to propose a toast. To us. Bottoms up. All right. <laughs> come on, come on, drink up. Bottoms up. I warned you. Vita, what do you want from me? Just you. Me? Yeah, I'm interested in you. Why would you ask that? It's Kolya. We had a fight. You know, he didn't like me immediately. I think he has feelings for you. Kolya? No. He is an Angelina Jolly fan. He is looking for his perfect match. It's so upsetting. We've been friends since childhood. He is my best friend. I thought he would be happy for me when I'd fall in love, but he's going to tell my parents on me. I will leave you for a minute. Yeah. Come here. What's up? Vita, what are you doing? Why are you getting her drunk? She's just a kid. Maybe she doesn't know anything about her father's affairs. It's all kind of petty. And causing my mother to commit suicide isn't petty? Come on, bring the dessert. I'll bring dessert, all right. But will you be able to look at yourself in the mirror after that? I will. I had good teachers. Oh, and bring some more champagne. Champagne. Wait. 
Oh, I can't. The restaurant is spinning. Don't fall down, okay? Be careful. Vitya. When I first saw you, the ground slipped from under my feet. Right, I almost hit you back then. No, not that. My mom fell in love with my dad at first sight like that, for life. I think you're my destiny, my soulmate. All right, let's go home. Don't fall down. I'm holding on. You're not holding me. I hit myself. You gotta be careful. What's going on here? Was that the private service because of which I got an extra day off? Who was he with? What is her name? Where did she even come from? Ask Victor. He's the boss. I just follow orders. He's not just a boss. He's your best friend and you have to know. What part of my answer you didn't get? Ask Victor. Well, this is where I live. Wow. It's so minimalist here. Who's that? I don't know. I'm not expecting anyone. What if it's the neighbors? What if something happened? The hell with the neighbors. Vita, we should open. Fine, wait for me here. Anya? What are you doing here? Is there anything you want to tell me? No, not here and not now. So I guess it's the end of our relationship. Let's talk about this tomorrow. Talk about what? The fact that you have a drunk chick in your apartment? I saw everything. Vita, bringing her to our restaurant is treating me like dirt. Wait a second, it's my restaurant, and I bring whoever I want there, okay? It's your choice if you throw a tantrum here. You know what my problem is. I love you. But it looks like you are not worth it anymore. Yes, Aunt Marina. Is it urgent? It is urgent and unpleasant. I met with a notary regarding your mother's will. Did you know that Ludmila and Mikhail never had a prenuptial agreement? They explained to me that she thought there was no need to sign it because all of her fortune she inherited from your father, so in case of divorce, Mikhail would have been left with nothing anyway. But, unfortunately, Ludmila did not foresee her demise. And what does it mean for us? Mikhail is her lawful husband. Like yourself, he is a class one heir. Half of Ludmila's fortune goes to him, and considering that your mother gave him 1% of your shares at the anniversary, he and not you will have the decisive vote in the company. He won, Vita. This win will cost him dearly anyway. Katya. 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 Get up. Five more minutes. I won't miss my class, honestly. It's time to go home. You were on a horse just now. Me? Where? In my dream. But you were on the red horse for some reason. You princess usually ride white ones. Okay, wake up, sleeping princess. 
I'm not a princess, I'm a laughing princess. You always confuse us. Come on, I'll get you home. On a horse? In a car, come on, get up. Easy. You are a genius. Careful, hold on. Vidya, you're so strong. I feel so good with you. Vitya? I'm getting my stuff. What do you mean? You weren't home for two days. Is there anything you want to tell me? I think we've said everything to each other. What? I thought... Peter, wait, you're not serious, are you? Do I look like I'm kidding? Peter, we've been together for 16 years. Do you want to just undo it all straight away? Not straight away. Besides, you kicked me out yourself. Well, I made a mistake. I overreacted. You can understand how I feel. You slept with my friend. I do understand. That's why I'm leaving. No! I should have put an end to that a long time ago. I won't let you go. I won't let you ruin our marriage for good. Marina, will you finally wake up? What marriage? We lived on autopilot out of habit. So this is how you're treating me? I'm the autopilot? Look, don't. Don't exaggerate. Petichka, come on. I've forgiven you. Happens to everyone who made a mistake, and women these days fall for every decent man. And you're a prominent man. You're not made of steel. Plus, Lyudka probably made it all up. She made a mistake. Marina, don't humiliate yourself. Oh, I can make you your favorite tea, if you want, with herbs. We'll have dinner or talk like the good old days. I've made your favorite pies. Right here. Here is our parking place. Well, shall we go home? No, I'm not going. Can you tell me your name? Or maybe we go straight to a hotel? So, what's it gonna be? Oh. Mommy Lulu, honey. Let's take a walk, sir. Come on. What's going on? Come on, come on. Come on. And what is a well-mannered girl like you doing at our hellhole? I'm very happy to see you too, Mom. Hey. Hey. I don't get it. How could he do that to me? He traded me for some plain Jane. Oh, my God. She's no match for me, the drunkard. Your favorite coffee flavor? Mom, are you even listening? I'm losing a money-making man. The important thing is not to lose yourself because of a man. That's the main thing. Sit. Come on, sit. What makes you think that it's serious between them? Mom, he kicked me out of his apartment because of her. Wait a minute. Why did you go to him? 
Well, I had to find out. No. No, you didn't have to. How many times have I told you that no man can stand being taken seriously? And if you start chasing him, then that's it. You basically lost him. It's easy for you to say. Your lover is chasing you, giving you flowers. Yes, and I don't keep him on a leash. If he doesn't like something, he can go on his merry way. I can't do that. Mom, he traded me for some basic chick. There's nothing to look at. Men are strange creatures. They fell for curves and marry basic chicks. Thanks for comforting me. So what, I have to turn into a basic chick now? No one said it was gonna be easy. Besides, your Victor is a tidbit, especially since his mommy passed away. By the way, I could tell boys to go and rough up the face of that basic chick of yours, if you want. No, mom. No need for crime. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. You know, when I saw him with that other girl, I felt like I was falling apart. I don't like that. You haven't fallen in love, have you? Anya. Love is an excusable weakness. Love is capable of ruining even the most perfect of plans. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. But there is nothing I can do about it. What's going on? Where's Katya? At home, she is asleep. What were you doing at her home? Walking her to her door. Don't worry, she's fine. She just had one too many. What do you mean? The hell are you talking about? Katya doesn't drink. Maybe that's why she became drowsy straight away. I just drove her home. Any other questions? Yes. Why do you need her? And don't tell me about love at first sight. I won't fall for that. It's none of your concern. It is my concern. Katya is like a sister to me. If you hurt her in any way, I will hunt you down. You got that? You do that, Hunter. But get your hand off me, so you don't get a cast. I told you she's asleep. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. Couldn't. I had the perfect opportunity, but... I'm afraid I'm not even close to being like my stepfather. Mikhail would have taken advantage of the situation if he was you. I don't want to be like him, Aunt Marina. You know, I'm having... second thoughts. What do you mean? God forgive me if I'm slandering, but Mikhail knew that in case of divorce with your mom, he would get nothing. She inherited her fortune from your father, but in case of her death, he becomes a free millionaire widower. What are you getting at? Well, we still don't know who gave Ludmila those ill-fated pictures. You think he did it himself? And left? To provide himself with an alibi? Himself or an interested part. Wife, for example, daughter. No. 
No, I mean... I'm not sure about the wife. But Katya... I don't think she knows anything. She believes her father is a saint and... works tirelessly for the good of the family. That's why he goes on business trips so often. That's her version. What if she is like her father more than you think? You also believed Mikhail, considered him your second father. You said that at the anniversary yourself. I did. Now I regret it very much. Vita, if I were you, I would check what's what. And don't discount this girl. She may not be as harmless as you think. To be honest, yes, I suspected that. But I didn't fully believe it. Boy. If I ever drink something stronger than Quess. He's an asshole, that Vitya of yours. You got off lightly, you know. At least he was smart enough to get you home. Hey. He didn't do anything there, did he? No, Kolya. He didn't harass me, if that's what you mean. He behaved more than nobly, actually. He drove me home, carried me in his arms like a real prince. Princes don't get princesses drunk. I almost called the police yesterday, you know. And what were you thinking of inviting him in? He could have robbed you, or even raped you, or killed you. Do you even know the statistics in our town? Kolya, don't yell, please. I wasn't thinking. I was asleep. Great. Eat. Thanks, but I hate oatmeal. You know, I hate a lot of things, too. That admirer of yours, for example. But I tolerate him, so eat. Look, seriously. While your parents are away, I'm responsible for you. That's why I insist you break up with this suspicious guy. I will decide who I date. Plus, I like Victor a lot. Don't tell me you're in love with him. What if I am? Are you expecting someone? Not really. Open the door, please. I'll go get dressed. Tada! I'm not here to see you. Speak of the devil. Katya, Katya, are you home? Yeah. Hi. Did you order a hangover remedy service? Natural lemon juice with honey will quickly get you back on your feet. Thanks, you're so caring. Sorry, I don't know how that happened yesterday. I've never drank before. It's okay. There's a first time for everything. Here, it's for you. Thank you. Is it okay if I'm here? Not really, actually. Hey, hello! Kolya, come on. You come on. Sorry. This dude hypnotizes you like a boa constrictor to a rabbit. You completely stop thinking when you see him. Dude, use your head! Hey, watch how you speak with the girl. She's a girl to you. To me, she's a friend. Stop making me look like an idiot in front of Victor. Oh, so that's what you're worried about. Looking stupid in his eyes, right? Then believe me, that's exactly how he sees you, because that's how you behave. That's it. I'm not six. I've got a mind of my own. Doesn't look like it. I don't pry into your personal life. Please do the same for me. Okay. Live how you want to live. I'm sorry you're not hearing me, and when you break up with this maniac, give me a call.
Tell me, don't you feel sorry for her? I guess not. Sorry. Don't blame yourself, it's just not a good time. No, you came at the right time, as always. Tea? Yep. Peter left. You were right, Luda. He traded me for that. Fuluzi. Luda, she doesn't even have higher education, none whatsoever. Can you imagine? He's a PhD in philology and he's more interested in being with her than with me. Misha isn't back yet. Also a joke. I don't know whether any decent men are still there, Luda. Don't worry about Vita. He's doing all right. I'll look after him. Oh, I almost forgot. Look what I brought you. Your favorites. You shouldn't have told me about Peter Lusa. You knew I'd explode and he'd live. He's proud. And I'm so afraid of loneliness, Lucia. I should be going now. It's getting cold. I'll come back in a day or two. I'm not on a diet anymore, Lucia. You know what I think? I'd rather be chubby. But alive, then thin and dead. Mm. Maybe you'd like some milk with your tea? Yes. Can I have some? Sure. I like it very much. Me too. Thanks. Really? Yes. <laughs> the omelette is just wonderful. I often make myself one like this for breakfast. What do you mean? I thought this my dad's special recipe. What a liar. How do you know this recipe? My stepfather taught me while he was still alive. Oh. He was a good man. He taught me a lot of things. Thanks to him, I'm a good cook. It's sad that people like this pass on. It is sad. But let's not talk about sad stuff, because the omelette is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Lemonade as well, by the way. Yeah. And you bother to come visit me in the morning. You probably have some work to do. I was worried about you. Right. And what about work? It's not going anywhere. I'm my own boss. How's that? Family business. Oh. Your father also has some kind of firm, right? No, my dad works at some big company. Really? What's it called? I don't know. I always asked him and something always distracted us. It has something to do with baking. That's odd. I just thought everyone knew where their parents worked. True. I'll ask my dad when they come back. Well, thank you. I'll wash up myself. No need. Sorry, it's... It must be from work. No hiding from them.
Yes, Vladimir, I'm listening. Here's the deal, Victor. I reviewed the results of your mother's autopsy. Some things seemed strange to me, and I ordered an additional examination of material evidence of poison we seized in the bedroom. Anyway, I found something very interesting. But it's better if we talk about it in person. Come see me if you have a minute. Yes, of course. Okay. I'm on the way. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. See you then. Go. I don't know what's up, but I guess it's very important to you. It is very important. Sorry. Thanks a lot for the breakfast. And for the kiss. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'll be there soon. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll be there. Does anyone else know about this? Only you, me, and the forensic expert. So my mother was murdered. Looks like it. Only while the investigation is ongoing, no one should know about it. The test results clearly showed that the sleeping pills that Ludmila allegedly took were in the sweets given to her. However, this is a very presumptuous move. What were the chances that she would eat the given sweets? Big. Those weren't just sweets. Those were handmade French sweets, mom's favorite. My mom loved sweets, and everyone knew that. She even boasted that she could eat sweets and not get fat. Do you have a guess who might give her that gift? As far as I understand, it appeared during the anniversary celebrations, so it could be one of the guests or employees. No, it could be my stepfather. He didn't love my mother. He had to tolerate her because he couldn't get a divorce. Otherwise, he would have lost everything. But in case of her death, he would become a co-heir. I think it's a beautiful plan to get his hands on my father's money. He even came up with an alibi. He went on a cruise with his mistress. Let me give you some advice, Victor. Don't jump to conclusions. My experience tells me that most often, a crime is committed by the person you would think the least of. Do you have a person like that on your list of suspects? I do. But I wouldn't want to say their name. I mean, you said it yourself that it's better not to jump to conclusions with these things. And don't forget about Table 5. You got that? Great. Hi. Hi. Okay, get to work. I was just about to call you. About yesterday? Forget about that. I was wrong. I understand that we are both free people and we have the right to live our lives the way we want it. I have no right to ask you anything. I should apologize for yesterday. I don't know what got into me. All right? Yeah, sure. Great. Now, excuse me, I have to work. New visitors. What was that about? I have no idea. I thought she would kill me for yesterday, and she's just... Your coffee? Thanks. Bring me a bun or something. Right away. Because I haven't had breakfast yet. She's been out of control since the morning, bossing everybody, me included. I wouldn't have guessed by the looks of her. She seems calm. Here's my advice to you. Don't fall for these provocations, because Anna is a provocation on her own. She's probably up to something. I'm not. It's just... Odd. She basically just dumped me. That's good. Why is that? Well, you have another. 
So, how's Cinderella? Bad. Why? Is she ugly? I saw her yesterday. She seemed all right. She's not. She's just naive. She has zero experience with men. I fed her some fairy tale and she fell for it. So she's dumb? She's not dumb. She's studying to be a pharmacist. She might get an honorary degree, by the way. It's just that she looks at life through rose-tinted glasses. And you've decided to take those glasses off of her, right? It's not a good idea, Victor. You know, if a person is good, not scared by life, you could easily break her. Then what? You're not like this shrew. You're a good man. How are you going to live with that? It's fine. I'll manage. Dan, Mom was murdered. The forensics confirmed it. No way. Man. So, do you think this girl is involved? I don't think anything. It's just that her family benefits from my mom's death the most. Katya as well. What took you so long? Were you baking it or what? Here you go. I will, of course, send them to forensics. Maybe there are some fingerprints left. But you have to understand that this is not an evidence. Why not? You said it yourself that everyone knew about your mother's love for sweets. Especially considering that it was her favorite sweets. Anyone could bring those. Yeah. You're probably right. I haven't thought of that. Although... Your version is also plausible. Some perpetrators tend to go back to the crime scene or visit the victim's grave. I mean, if the murderer has a guilty conscience. Then this allows us to... Remove your stepfather and his first wife from the circle of suspects. How come? Well, you said it yourself that they're on a cruise right now. But it could be someone associated with them. Maybe that person didn't kill her, but they knew about their plans. But it's just speculation. I will find out whether it's speculation or not. Hey. Hey. I am very glad you came. Is everything okay? Did something happen? I love you. What? Misha, be serious. We just landed and you're going straight to work. Inga, don't start, please. 
I was absent for too long as is. This might raise suspicions. You don't want us to have problems, do you? Us? You, rather. Why don't you say that you've missed your lawful wifey? God, the only person I've missed is our Katya. You know who I haven't missed? You, because I'm tired of your nagging. You like going on a cruise, but you don't like how I make money for that cruise. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Please, don't act on my nerves. They'll bug me when I get back to work as it is. Why would they bug you if, as you put it, it was a planned trip? Because I told you at the very beginning, there are serious problems at the restaurant. Oh, please, don't make me laugh, Misha. What problems? Did your restaurant burn down? No, my restaurant didn't burn down. Everything else can be fixed. God, I'm so tired of this. When will this end? No need to look here. Drive and watch the road. Maybe you want me to leave? Come on. Enough. We apologize. Yeah, right. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Yay! You're here. Hi. Hi. How are you? Everything is good, Mommy. How are you? Hey, sweetie. At least somebody in our family is doing good. Did you two have a fight or something? Ask your father. Dad? Katya, make us some tea, please. Dad, what happened? Nothing happened. I was called to work, and your mother is raging. So you're not gonna stay with us even for a few days? That's not fair. That's what I'm saying. Is it fair to use heavy artillery against me? Is it fair to be home on short visits? Dad, really, maybe you should change your job, because we barely see each other. I know. I promise, this business trip will be my last. Are you serious? Well, that's what you wanted. Yay! Misha. Daddy! Misha. I'm so happy. That's wonderful. Since everybody's happy, I have good news. I'm in love. I have a boyfriend. Why are you smiling? Why? What's so good about that? Wait. Fell in love with whom? Is it Kole? What's Kole have to do with it? Kole is just a friend, and that one's a real prince. Sweetie, you have to understand that there are no real princes. All men are jerks. You can't trust them. Dad, but you're a man too. I'm also a jerk. Ask your mom. I second that. And you're still little. Dad, I'm 20. You know, it's trendy to get married after 30 these days. No one says everything about marriage. We're just dating. You're like him, I guarantee you. He's the best. I don't know. I doubt it very much. Okay, 32. Something doesn't add up again. How long are you going to be depressed? Until he calls me. Mom, your advice doesn't work. I've been acting like a complete idiot for two weeks now. Friendliness, indifference. What's the point? Zero attention. He doesn't even call me. He will. How can you know that? I asked my boys to follow him. Do you even know whom he is seeing? Well, yeah. Some student. Not just any student, but the daughter of his stepfather. The one? From the picture? Because of which Lyudmila killed herself. That is what I'm telling you. Mom! He is taking revenge on her. It's revenge! Godness. Can you have patience and wait? He's not going anywhere. He'll call you and go let me do my work. Lost count again. Mommy, 
You fell in love with dead at first sight, didn't you? You told me yourself. It is what it is. Only your dad is also far from perfect. I don't need a perfect prince. I need someone who I could be silent with. My kind of man. Is Vitya like that? Yes. Yes, mommy. When I'm around him, I feel that everything is in its right place, you know? Some joy embraces you that you want to sing and dance. You're infatuated. No, I'm not infatuated, Mom. I love him. Is there a difference? Of course. Infatuation is temporary. But love, you know, I have this feeling as if I've known him all my life. He makes me feel so good, Mom. Have you even passed your exams, Juliet? Or because of your great love, you dropped out of school as I did? I got straight A's because he inspires me. I'm pleased to hear that. Well, get your Romeo and invite him to dinner with us. I would like to meet him in person. And it's better to do that before your dad meets him and ruins everything. All right. Okay, mommy. I'm draining you with my talks. Have some rest. Too bad dad left. I didn't even get the chance to talk to him. Let's hope it's his last business trip. Yeah, that would be great. All right, have some rest. I'll make everything and you rest now. Thanks. Sure. Hello, son. I'm sorry I couldn't be at the funeral. The ocean liner was already at sea. You can't get off a ship. How are you? Bad. I understand. I feel bad, too. No, you don't understand. Are you mad at me? Well, yeah, I deserve that. She killed herself. What? What do you mean? It can't be. Ludmila would never do that to herself, Victor. How's that possible? No, she literally had no reason for that. We were doing well. Something's not right, Victor. We have to talk to the police. Let them have another investigation. Have you ever thought about being an actor? You'd be good at it. I don't understand what you're talking about. What? 
this. Nice picture, eh? Recognize anyone? Where did you get that? From Mum. It impressed her too. Greatly. What's new here? Ludmila Vorobyova's tragic death. I don't understand. How is it possible? She died? Two weeks ago? Well, Vorobyo, this will cost you dearly. He went to quit, he said. Mom, where are you going? To fire your father. Did you to have a fight or something? Mom! You've been lying to us all these years. Yes, I'm not a saint. Yes, Victor, I'm not saint, but you know, many men have mistresses and I don't see anything criminal about it, but it's definitely not a reason to kill yourself. I will never believe that Ludmilla would do that because of this silly thing. So you're calling cheating a silly thing? Victor, please. She wasn't the saint either. You think she didn't cheat on me? Come on, get up. Get up. Get up now. Nice punch, good boy. But I'm not gonna fight you anyway. Yes, I taught you well when you were a kid, I know. But I'm not gonna fight you because I don't see the point. I don't even understand what's your problem with me. Your mom was satisfied with me. I was a convenient husband for her. Otherwise, she would have divorced me a long time ago. It was you or someone in your family who sent her those pictures and the poison. It was you. You killed her. What poison? You said that she killed herself. Expect a visit from the police. Beautiful. Okay. Everything is ready. That's odd. Hello? Hello. Anya, it's me. Mm -hmm. Sure, come. Okay. I'm waiting. Yes, 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 yes! Hello, Mom. Mom, you were right. He called me. I feel terrible as is. Then you appear. Can you be quiet? I can because I also feel terrible. You lied to me. 
I didn't lie to you. I just didn't tell you. I was looking for the right moment. Well, in ten years. Look, Verbio, don't take me for an idiot. I know what you wanted to do. You wanted to leave as a bachelor to the fullest without us. You'd come once every two months and have fun with other women at the same time. I'm sick and tired of these women. How about you stop nagging me? We'll see what your daughter says when she finds out who her daddy is. A gigala. Don't you dare. Watch me. Don't. Shit. Misha. Misha. Shit. Misha. Misha. Shit. Inga. Shit. Shit. One second. He's in a coma. I won't lie. Chances of him waking up from the coma are slim. Excuse me. I didn't think it would be that way. I wanted to save them, get them out, but I couldn't. Vita, don't beat yourself up. You did all you could. Katya will go crazy grieving. Talk about Katya. Now she's the heir. What are you talking about? Well, if Mikhail dies or stays in this condition, she will get everything as his daughter. She's a rich fiancé now. Convince her to trust you with money management and... What, become like Misha? Don't compare yourself. You'd only get back what's yours. Restore justice, at least for your mother. You think when he wakes up, he will refuse your family's money? No, he won't. That's right. Think less, act more, and my advice to you, don't waste time. Katya's now a rich fiancé. Yes. No one's marrying her so far. Otherwise, you'd have to share your house and the business with her husband. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Are you kidding me? Mom, have you forgotten your kiss again? Oh, it's you. Hi. Hi, what's up? Listen, Katya, I had a call from Aunt Tamara from the hospital. I don't even know how to say this. If you don't know how to say it, then be straight. Katya... There was an accident. A serious accident, and... Misha, he... He is in a coma. And your mom... K Katya, I'm very sorry. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, let me bring you some tea. I don't want anything. You need a hot drink. Look at yourself. You're all pale. Here are the test results. Put them on my table. Sure thing. I'll deal with that later. Okay, I'll be quick.
Vitya, my mom died. If my dad... It's okay. It's okay. You're not alone, you have me. If my dad also dies, I won't have any family left. Not true. That's not true. You have a family. You've got me. Katya. I know that now is not the time or the place. But marry me. What? Would you marry me? Katya, hang in there. You should get her out of here. Katya, Kola's is right. It's time to go. I can't leave her here. She will be cold. No. No. You heard the priest. She's in heaven now. What if she's not? What if I never see her again? Come on, let's go, honey. She was so young. She had so many years ahead of her. Mommy. Come on, let's go, let's go. I hear you're getting married. Yeah, next week. We'll just sign the papers. It's how Katya wants it. The situation isn't the happiest, as you can understand. Yeah. You're all right. Surprised me even. Really. I couldn't believe you two were serious. I'm sorry for taking smack at you at first. The psycho stuff and so on. It's okay, I would do the same thing if I were you. I don't think so. You take care of Katya. She has no one left except you and me. Yeah, I understand. Need a lift? No, I'm, I'm good. Kolya? Will you be my best man? Mom, I've had enough of your advice. They don't work anymore. I waited for long enough. I was patient with him. And yet now I need explanations. What do you mean, not here? He's not at the office. He's not at the restaurant or at his apartment. Is he hiding from me? I don't know. We could ask Marina Alexandrovna. Maybe she knows where the master is. Please do! Hello, Anna. Victor's not here. Good afternoon, Marina. Yes, I've been looking for him. You don't know where he is by any chance. Thank you. Of course. I do, actually. He's at the civil office. He's getting married today. This isn't funny. Didn't he tell you? Although, Victor doesn't have to report to his employees about his personal life, don't you think? No, I don't, and I'm not his employee, I'm his girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend, as far as I know. Anya, listen to my advice. Don't make it harder for either of you. And it comes from a woman whose husband left her. Fix your own life first, and then you can start advising others. How do you know that? I never told anyone about that. The world is a lot smaller than you think.
here. And right here. Victor and Yekaterina, I pronounce you husband and wife. Groom, you may kiss the bride. Mom, he married her. God. God heavens. Hey, don't you know how to knock? More like you don't know how to lock the door. Wait a second, Piotr, I'm sorry. It's a family matter. Knock yourselves out, it's okay. I'll go grab a bite. Hey. Hey, have we met before? I don't think so. I would remember. He saw me a hundred times at the restaurant. Sure, why would he remember the help? Looks like Victor treats me the same. I hate him. Okay, give me the glass. Isn't it a little early for alcohol? So what happened at the registry? Mom, he married that plain Jane. Is she pregnant? How should I know? I've lost him for good. Look, Piotr is also married, but that doesn't give me the reason and the right to go on the bender. But you said he left his wife. I did. But he did leave. Draw your own conclusions. It's not cast in stone. You can get rid of a wife. I don't see any reasons to be upset. Mom, I'm not a mason to know anything about stones. I'm just a woman and I want to be chased, not vice versa. Anichka, use your brain. You said it yourself, that the girl's father is it a death door. Anyone would understand what is he doing there. I would do the same if I were him. I'm sorry I'm not as smart as you are. I don't understand. Victor was always against marriage, and now... Guess who will get the inheritance if his father dies? Not Victor. That is for sure. Wait, are you saying that? I'm saying that he doesn't need a wife. He only needs the inheritance. Yes, he is a calculating guy, so what? I didn't expect that from him. Anya, life can make you do crazier things. Mm. Daddy, I hope you can hear me right now. I would like to introduce you to someone. This is Vita. Vita is my husband. We just got married. You know, he is wonderful. I think you would like him a lot. You always wanted a son. You know, Vita is very nice and kind. And he loves me like you loved mom. So don't worry about me. Now I'm watched over. But you get well, dead. Okay, that's enough. Don't upset your father. I never thought... I would have such a happy wedding. It's all right. Your father will get better and we'll have a real wedding. We can have a church ceremony if you want. Of course I do. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought there is no one here. You must be his relatives. I'm Marina, Mikhail's colleague. I came to visit him from work. Hi. Hi. I'm Mikhail's daughter. This is my husband, Victor. You're Katya. Yes, Katya. It's very nice to meet you. I wish it was under better circumstances. Mikhail told me a lot about you. By the way, have you resolved the legal matters? I could help you with that. I'm a company lawyer. We were good friends with your father. I don't understand. What matters are you talking about? I mean the standard ones, particularly financial ones. Mikhail has bank accounts. I personally help him open those. He probably would have wanted to insure you in this situation. I'm sorry for being so blunt, but only God knows how long Misha will be in this condition. 
He needs highly qualified treatment and proper care. It is costly, very, and he has it. While your father is incapacitated, I think the right thing to do would be to give the management of his accounts to you, his rightful daughter. I think Marina is right. Yes. Well, I won't bother you. Misha, get better. Bye. Thank you. I'll see her off. She is even more naive than I thought. You did good playing alone. The only thing left to do is to talk to the judge I know so that Katya can represent her father. I'll take care of that. Then what? And then you'll have to convince your wife to sign a general power of attorney to you. As soon as she signs it, you will be able to take back everything that that bastard stole from your family. And how long do I have to portray a happy husband? At least a month. Even with my connections, I won't be able to recognize your stepfather's incapacity in a week. It's so long. I'm tired of pretending. Who said it was gonna be easy? It's kind of vile. Relax. Try to have fun. Forget about revenge for a month or two. Well, imagine that you really are a happy couple. Newlyweds. You know what bothers me the most? That this Katya basically has no one else left except me. I can't imagine what will happen to her when I also leave. All of her life she's been living on the money your stepfather was stealing from Luda. Now it's payback time. But Katya didn't know anything. I'm sure of it as never before. She's incapable of meanness. Do you feel sorry for her? Have you already forgotten that the girl's parents drove your mother to an early grave? Poor Luda, if only she could hear you right now. I haven't forgotten. All right, I have to go back to Katya. Enjoy your marriage. So, Hirov. Yeah. You know, I like her. Maybe we should do as she said. I guess. Your father probably would have wanted to take care of you. Yeah, you know, my dad always helped me. I think it's time for me to take care of him. He has no one else left now. Well, it's done. I did my part. Your father-in-law is declared incapacitated. Now it's up to you. What if she doesn't want to sign the power of attorney? Then make sure she does. Vita, look. Your wife may not be stupid, but she's in love. And when us women are in love, we rarely use our brains. We listen to our hearts, the man we love, so you are all set. Well, if she starts having second thoughts, give her this to read. Draft version, so to say. And the notary will have another one. Almost the same. I will change a few sentences, and that would be enough for everything to be in your hands. It's all kind of vile. What did you expect? Revenge is rarely sweet, my dear. Honey, is that you? Yeah, it's me. You are early today. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Hey. I went to see my dad this morning. 
Yeah, and how is he? He is okay. No change, but at least he is not getting worse, you know. That's good enough. Yeah, thank God. What about you? Are you back from work? Yeah. So my lawyer, Marina, she asked me to give you the court order declaring your father incapacitated. To be honest, I don't even know how to react to this. I mean, I should be happy that we've settled all the legal matters, but... It's making me kinda sick. You know, I wish my dad managed his money himself. Yeah, I completely agree with you. As far as I understand, you're gonna be managing not only his accounts, but business as well. You never said your dad had a restaurant and a couple of enterprises, quite large. What restaurant, Vita? What are you talking about? My dad worked for other people all his life. As long as I can remember, he was always on business trips. He worked for some company. What restaurant? But the paperwork says otherwise. Maybe he was doing it at the same time somehow. No, that's absurd. And why would my dad hide this from us? No. I don't see the point. Yeah, I'm afraid we won't find that out until he wakes up. Yeah. But you're gonna have to take everything into your hands anyway. Enterprises can't function without a manager, otherwise they go bankrupt, and dozens, hundreds of people would end up on the street. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Vida, come on, I can be a manager. I... No, 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 I'm just a pharmacist, plus... I haven't finished my degree yet, so I can put in charge of an enterprise. Otherwise, I'll make it go bankrupt even faster. Honey, we must do something about it anyway. Business hates delays. As far as I know, big problems arose at the enterprises during that time. Vita, you have a degree in economics. Yes, yeah, so? Well, you have all the necessary knowledge and experience, so you should be the head of the enterprise, not me. I don't think this is a good idea. Why not? Your father didn't know me personally. He might have not been okay with me in charge. I doubt he would have liked that. You know what he won't like? When he goes bankrupt. That's why, as his son-in-law, you have to take the matter into your own hands. Vita, please, do it for me. Please. Anything for the woman I love. I love you. Unsmiling princess, you ate all the cakes alone? And didn't even share with anyone? Not me, not the kids? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Unsmiling princess, get up. Now you know you can't be greedy and eat all the cakes by yourself. Look, all the kids know about that. Right, kids? Yes! Hey, Katya, what's wrong? What happened? I got dizzy. Help me, please. Oh, you princesses. So tender. Now I'm gonna have to carry her to the carriage. Come on. Okay, goodbye, kids. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, bye! Hey, maybe I should get you a doctor? No, it's okay. I think I know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's low blood pressure? I think it's just pregnancy. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> I've never felt like such a bastard. You know, Katya, she's... helpless, I guess. Hurting her is just wrong. But I can't forget the fact that her parents murdered my mother. It's some kind of vicious cycle, you know? You haven't fallen in love with her, have you? Victor, I've never seen you like this, reflecting. I don't even want to think about it. I understand. Dima, yes? Bring us something stronger, will you? Right away. I don't think coffee would be enough. 
Aren't you at work? So? I'm stressed, I'm allowed. Tell me, Victor, have you ever heard that children aren't responsible for the sins of their parents? No, really. The girl had bad luck with her father. You with a stepfather. He ended up being a bastard. You didn't choose him either. Why does Katya have to pay for her father? So, here's to the cancellation of the law of the boomerang. We're toast. Yes, but it applies. Be careful not to get hit by that boomerang in your situation. It's so unfair. And driving my mother into suicide is fair? Whatever, Dan, enough about that. I feel bad as it is. Then do something to not feel bad. Give up your revenge. It's not making you happy. You said it yourself that your wife offered to give you the power of attorney. Well, there it is. You'll get all the money back your stepfather stole from you. If so, then this is how me and Katya will break up. Why is that? Well, because. Have you thought about what would happen when Misha wakes up? He won't stay quiet or make it look like we don't know each other. Right. Your father, stepfather, is a piece of work. But he'll stay quiet if it's in his best interest. Whatever. Plus, I won't be hiding her for the rest of my life. For my friends and people I know, someone will tell her the truth anyway. Then just disappear from her life? That's roughly what I'm about to do. I don't like that roughly of yours, Victor. Anyway, Dan, I have to end this circus. A tree with rotten roots will not bear good fruit, you know? You know what, Michurin? Just don't make anything more stupid. So you can clean up this mess later. Listen, you can call me if you need anything. And get an appointment with a gynecologist. Your husband should pay more attention to you. Vita doesn't know anything yet. I haven't found the right moment to tell him yet. Don't tell him. You're the first to know. Thanks for the trust, of course. But don't delay the news or the baby bump will show before your husband knows. Kola, you and your jokes. Thank you. Say hi to your mom. Okay. You know, I'm happy for you. I shouldn't have talked smack about him. He's all right. I'm happy too. He's very lucky to have you. Good luck to you. Thanks. Hey, honey. Hello. Will you be home soon? Yes, of course. Around seven. And don't worry about dinner. I'm cooking tonight. I love you too. Yeah. Bye. So you love her? I thought you were taking revenge on her. What? Sorry for being blunt. I couldn't help myself. Who told you? How do you know? I'm just not stupid. I can put all the facts together. Don't worry, Vitya. No one's gonna hear about it from me. Anya, what do you want? I want it. You. But that doesn't matter anymore. Say hi to your wife. A real chef. Who taught you how to chop vegetables like that? My father. I mean, stepfather. Your stepfather was just awesome. You know, he and my dad would have definitely hit it off in the kitchen. You can say that again. It must be great when your father is always around. Did your stepdad raise you? Yeah, mostly. 
My mom was busy with herself. So me and my father hang out together, fishing. He taught me how to cook. And also how to fight. Although he wasn't much of a fighter, to be honest. You're lucky. My dad was always away. I wouldn't want it to be the same for my kids. That's why I won't let you go on business trips. It's a little early for us to have kids. I mean, I would like to have a baby. Right now? No. In about two or three years, I don't want to share you with anyone. Shit. Ouch. Give me the towel, quick. Katya, give me the towel. Almost stuck. Hush, my little one. Daddy didn't mean it. He will be happy when he finds out. Very. I hope that you have read the contents of the power of attorney. There's really no need for that. I trust my husband. Well, in that case, sign here. Right here. And right here. Oh, that's a relief. Vita, take it. That's all? Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Vita, will you drop me off at the hospital? Me and Cole are having a play for the kids today. Yes, of course. Thank you. Hello, Nina. Hello, Marina. Is my godson in his office? Did something happen? Nina, you know I'm family. You can and you should tell me everything. I mean, I don't know, but it looks like... Mm. Isn't it a little early for that? Just right. I'm celebrating. To our victory. You don't look too happy. It's because this victory tastes rotten. Everything seems to be okay. Well, the girl signed the paperwork. Now you can file for divorce. Do you want me to start? I don't want anything, to be honest. It's okay, Vitusha. It will pass. It's passion. You've been through a lot. What if it's not stress? But my conscience? Your conscience is clear. You didn't kill and you didn't rob anyone. But that doesn't make it easier for me. Hey, don't overthink it and don't think bad about Vitka. If they asked me if I wanted to be a father right now, I would also say no. I am not ready. But when it actually happens, it's a completely different thing. You haven't told him anything yet, have you? Although, I'm sure he will be glad to have a baby. I mean, having a baby with a woman you love is every normal guy's dream. Immoral jerks don't count. Коля, you think so? I have no doubt about it. You're a true friend, Piro. And I had to become a friend of unsmiling princess who's always about to cry. It's the hospital. Hello? Is he alive? <clears throat> 
Hey. I was passing by and decided to drop in. Sorry I'm busy. I left my wife. Well? Dad is starting to come to his sense. The doctor has registered brain activity. Thank God. Does Victor know? I can reach him. One second. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please try again later. That's odd. Vita has never turned off his phone before. Maybe something happened. He's probably at work. Maybe he's in a meeting or something. Call his secretary and find out. I don't know where he works. What do you mean you don't know? He's your husband. I don't know. I've never asked. Why ask? Then call some of his friends or family. I don't know anyone. You were the only one at our wedding. His parents are dead. He's alone. Well, he must have some friends or acquaintances at least. What, he never introduced you to anyone? You... You don't know your husband at all? Looks like it. The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Hello, help desk. Miss, could you tell me the phone number to the morgue, please? Thank God you're alive. I got so scared. Please don't ever do that again. I almost lost my mind. I was uh, at a restaurant with my friends and lost track of time, and I left my phone in the car. I didn't even know who to call. I realized that I don't know any of your friends or relatives or where you work. I don't know anything about you. You really want to know everything about me? Well, yes. Yes, of course. Get dressed and let's go. Oh, 
I'm sleepy all the time. Mom, have you ever tried going to bed earlier? I have. I can't. Did he come? Yes. I told you. He was not going anywhere. He'd crawl back. That's accurate. He literally crawled. He was completely wasted. He didn't drink like that before. That's actually good. So as of today, you are pregnant. I mean, he doesn't remember whether he used protection or not. Mom, what pregnancy? I'm telling you, he was absolutely hammered. He passed out as soon as we reached the bed. No, I mean, I undressed him, laid beside him, let him think that we did it. That's wonderful, but the important thing is that he knows that you had sex. We'll find a baby elsewhere. Mom! What? Don't act like it's not you. You've never been squeamish. Nightclubs were your second home. Or did you forget that? Mom, it was a long time ago. Don't give me that bullshit. Do you have someone in mind? So I'm gonna have to find you a donor again. Great. Only we need someone with guaranteed performance. Either a daddy or from a large family. Genes play an important part. What? Do you have someone in mind? There's this guy. He told me he had four sisters. I don't think he'll refuse if I take him by surprise. Plus, he's been getting on my nerves lately, so I'll neutralize him. Everybody gets on your nerves. Come on. To my grandchild. Only from a rich daddy. This is your house? Yeah. This is my mother's house. Let's go inside. My God. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. This is Nina. Nina, this is Katya. Nice to meet you. Wow, look at those windows. So much light. This house is like it's from a fairy tale. And you happen to be a real prince. Right. And a queen used to live in this palace. But this fairy tale has a bad ending. What do you mean, Vita? Nothing. Come on. Let me show you something. This is my mom. So beautiful. And young. She had all of her life ahead of her. Vitya, you've never told me how she died. What happened? She was murdered. Poisoned. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. Do you know who did it? Of course. My stepfather. With his lover. His first wife. All that time he lived with two families. Is that even possible? It is, if the person is a scoundrel. Wait, but you said your stepfather was dead. Yeah, to me. He's long dead to me. Vita, let's not go back to this house anymore if you want. We have an apartment. We live there. People don't need much to be happy, right? Only my stepfather would disagree with you.
Although he knew that all the money that belonged to my mom came from my father, from my real father. What a scoundrel. Yeah. That's him, by the way. Vita, is this some kind of joke? It can be. Your stepfather is my father. Mine too, in a way. You... you knew it from the start. So Kolya was right, you took notice of me not because you liked me, but... You're completely not my type. I don't believe it. I just don't. This can be my father, and he couldn't kill a person, and my mom is the victim, just as... She always knew that he had two families. No, my mom would never let that happen. Sure. God, is some kind of nightmare. I'm gonna wake up. Yeah, and you'll be left with nothing. Thanks for the power of attorney. I've retrieved the money that belongs to my mother, and you and your father are now paupers. Congrats! Was there anything real in you? Yeah, there was. Hatred for you and your family. Now get out of here. I don't need anything from you. Hello, Kola. Kola, come get me, please. I'm very cold and I'm very afraid of the baby, Kola. I'm on the highway near Spenskaya. Kola, please. Come get me. Hello. Kola. Kola. What's wrong with this? I guess Misha wasn't a good fit for you by temperament, since you laid eyes on my husband. Yes, Ludechka, Peter told me everything. How you two had fun. How you laughed at me. And I trusted you so much. I thought you were my sister. But that's okay. It's a good lesson for me. By the way, I keep forgetting to ask. Were the sweets any good? I put an extra effort into stuffing those. Shit. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on, honey. Honey, come on. Well, come on. Where did we screw up? Where's everybody else? They left already. So there's just the two of us. I guess so. Look, if you want to shut me in the freezer, then you'll go to jail. Killing by freezing. I made inquiries, got that? You're funny. Don't be afraid. I have other plans for you. Uh. 
It's hot in here. Oh, thank God, you're awake. You really scared me, you know. Can you explain to me what happened? What's up with Victor? Why isn't he answering? Gotcha. What's wrong? Gotcha. Gotcha. Nina, I told you I'm not home. Come on, get up. Enough wallowing. Did Nina complain to you or what? Be gone, Cinderella. Or better, go get some beer. Yeah, right. Have you seen yourself in the mirror lately? Avenger my ass. Feeling good after your revenge. Nina, come in. Good morning. Nina, are you also in the enemy camp? Come on. What's this? It's better if you don't know. Then drink it yourself. I guess you won't leave me alone, right? Poison. Now eat. Take it. Look, it won't stay inside. Make sure it does. Look, I feel really sick, and now you... Sick? It's the foreign elements being rejected in you. That's why you're sick. What elements? Meanness, vindictiveness, malice, things that are not typical for you. That's why you feel so bad. Have you heard anything about Katya? She left the house in just a coat with no money. She didn't even take her purse. I haven't. Eat your broth. You'll feel better. I'm afraid I'll never feel better. Katya. Katya. Katya, sweetie. Katya. Why didn't you come for so long? Yes, Katya. I know about Mom. They told me. It's terrible, Katya. Dad, how? How could you? Yes, it's my fault, Katya. I know, it's my fault. I shouldn't have been distracted from the road, but... How could you have two families for so many years? Lie to everyone around you. Oh. You know, Katya... Don't make a monster out of me. I had my reasons for that. What reasons? What reasons? What reasons? When I met Ludmila, me and your mom badly needed money. Do you even hear yourself? Katya, don't judge a person not knowing their reasons. Good life turned out to be more precious to you than an honest name. What's good life has to do with it, Katya? Where do you think we got the money for your operation? Out of thin air? So... So it's all my fault? No, Katya. 
That's not what I meant. Katya. Katya. Just don't blame yourself for everything. He did it all because... because of me. Maybe initially because of you. But I think later he simply enjoyed that life. <laughs> Katya, don't cry, please. It's not me. It's the hormones. Pay no mind to that. Have you told your husband about the baby? No. That's good. He doesn't need to know about it yet. Katya. I've given it a thought and... and... Let's get married. Коля, are you in your right mind? I mean, I'll adopt your baby. I'll raise him as my own, I promise. Коля, I appreciate this sacrifice, but don't. Katya, it's not a sacrifice. It's a carefully thought out and conscious decision. Just think about it. You and I are united by something more than passion or love. It's all fleeting. It passes. And you and I, we have friendship, and it's eternal. And I only hope that maybe someday you will be able to love me. Коля, you're so nice. At least I'm lucky to have you. So that's a yes? <laughs> You've got a visitor. Who? Daughter? Your son-in-law. Who? Son-in-law. What son-in-law? I don't have a son-in-law. Maybe you were in Ikamo for so long. I was, but not that long. So should I go get him? Well, yeah. Bring him in. What son-in-law? Is Kola the son-in-law? Victor? I don't understand. Hello, Dad. Sure. I guess I'm not that good-looking. I'm not a prince, and I don't have a black SUV. Kola, what's that have to do with it? First of all, I'm married. Secondly, I'm expecting a child with my husband. And thirdly, Kola, there's zero romance between us. And don't pretend that you're in love with me. I know who you are drooling over in our class. Katya, you wouldn't marry me even if you were divorced. Yes, yes, Kola, I wouldn't. Because you and I are friends. I appreciate our friendship. You know, that's what strikes me the most about you girls. You completely ignore nice guys and you fall for assholes. Well, you don't even object. Victor. Victor, I don't believe it. No. You couldn't have done it. Victor, I raised a good boy, not a scoundrel. Children learn from their parents, even adopted ones. And you were a good teacher. Consider us even. And your daughter paid for you in full. Victor, Katya didn't know anything. Mom didn't know anything either, until she died. Victor, you won't be able to live with that. I know you, it's not you. I already live with that. And stop pretending to be a caring father. You don't care about anyone but you. Don't say that, Victor. All these years, I've treated you like my own son, and you know that. The way I see it, you just played the part of a caring father to gain my mom's trust. 
So I played the part, huh? Victor, all these years, I was with you. Not with Katya, whom I saw briefly. You. I was with you when you won competitions. And when you lost, I was also there for you. I helped you with your homework, Vita. I taught you to drive, pick up girls. And who hid you from your mother when you came back home wasted for the first time and was with you the whole night while you were feeling sick? Isn't that a protracted part for a hypocrite stepfather? Mom paid you well for it. Congratulations, your scam was a success. No, Victor, no. My marriage with Ludmilla wasn't a scam. You had two families for many years. Victor, I had my reasons for that. I wonder what are those? I really needed money. And at the same time, in spite of everything, I couldn't leave my first family. QED. You weren't in my shoes. I would never do that. Victor, never say never. If you were in my place, if you were as desperate as I was, you would do the same thing. No, I wouldn't. Victor, wait. Listen, Victor, you will have children soon, and I wish you never know what it's like to find out that your child is gravely ill, and there's nothing you can do to save them, because your goddamn salary won't cover medical expenses even this much. And even if you sell your apartment and a kidney in addition, you still won't be able to pay for the operation abroad. And then you'll do anything. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you know? Katya didn't tell you that she had cancer. What? Петя, Петя. What are you doing here? The worst part is that you're not even a girl. At first, I thought it was a student who uses something other than her head to pass exams. But surprise! Wrinkles? And the hair isn't yours? What has he seen you? I guess something that you don't have. And what would that be? Brains, probably. You think you won? Are you having doubts about it? Yotr moved in with me. By the way, thank you very much for kicking him out. Otherwise, he wouldn't kept on going with you. Should I call the security or will you find your way out? You won't get him anyway. Petya is either mine or nobody's. Why would he need such a fat old cow? Get out. You bitch! Hi. Hello. Who are you looking for? You. I'm Anna. I'm your husband's fiance. And what can I do for my husband's mistress? I want you to file for divorce immediately. Ask your paramour about it. 
He can do that without my help. Are you still hoping he will come back to you? I'm hoping that you will leave now. Do you know that it was Victor who saved your father from that car and left your mother to die in it? There is some original revenge. Aunt Marina? Mm. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I killed her. Who? Peter's mistress. He left me. Did you know that? And I love him. I do everything for him. I cook, clean, make money. Do you know how much they pay professors at universities? Pennies. Yeah. And my Petinka loves luxurious life. And women. Beautiful women. Like your mother. Lyudka shouldn't have slept with him. He said that himself. All right, I think you had enough for today. What's this? Blood? Did you cut yourself or something? I told you I killed her. With a statuette to the head. Do you see how much blood? I thought I would feel better. <sighs> but she comes to me every night. Who does? Petya's mistress? Your mother. We talk like we used to, laugh. I miss her. I miss her so much. But she brought it on herself. You can't get involved in someone else's family. You can't. But she's a queen. She can do anything. Break, crush, humiliate, insult. She loved that candy. And she told me that I should go on a diet. What a ridiculous way to die, isn't that right? Aunt Marina, stop. And she used to take those sleeping pills for panic attacks. Can you imagine? The woman has everything, but she can't sleep, she's afraid. But what she's afraid of, she doesn't know. She asked me to go to a pharmacist if I'm some kind of servant, to get those. And I did. And she fell asleep. I took the candy and a syringe. Bam! And she fell asleep forever. No, wait a second. No, stop. What about the photos? Misha. I knew everything about him. I just stayed quiet. I felt sorry for Lyudka. I didn't want to ruin someone else's family, but she went and ruined mine. Tell me that fair. Okay. Also... Aunt Marina, stop. Also, she had time to call me. Mad as a hornet. She was all shaken. She wanted to hire a hitman for Misha and his family. She asked me if I knew someone who could do that. And then... she fell asleep. No, no. 
No, stop. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You think I'm Fint? You just didn't know your mother too well. Vladimir, could you come to my place? Right now. It's urgent. I know who killed my mother. This person has just confessed. I'm waiting. Mommy. Mom? Mom, what's wrong? Hey! Mom! Help! Somebody! Help! Mom! Mommy! Mom! Hello, friend. There. Your favorite. Still some left since that time. You know, Lucia, I was thinking, men come and go, and female friendship remains. I hope we see each other soon. I've missed you. I don't know how she could run away. I thought she was in the room all the time. I've already ordered to search the area. Her car is also wanted. Tell me, Victor, are you sure of what you're saying? Because false accusation is... I understand. If you don't believe me, then find another person. Aunt Marina said she killed her husband's mistress. I don't know who she was talking about, but her hands were covered in blood. We'll check that. Although her words about the poisoned candy are confirmed by the autopsy results, chocolate was found in the stomach. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Bye. Yes? Who? Oh, let him through. Did Katja send you? Shit! Sneaky. You scum. How can anyone love you? Look, I'm not asking for your sympathy. You ruined Katja's life. Will you also take revenge on your baby for the fact that his father is a bastard? Baby? What baby?
What are you doing here? How did you? I have keys. Give those back. You don't live here anymore. Katya. When were you going to tell me about the baby? Or did you choose to hide it? How do you... Although it doesn't matter now. It does matter. I don't want the child to pay for our mistakes. It won't. What do you mean? There won't be a baby. Did you have an abortion? No. Miscarriage. Yesterday because of the worrying. Now please leave. Nothing is keeping us together anymore. Or maybe you want to take revenge on me for something else? Well, go on. I don't care anymore. Could I... File for divorce, or I will. Idiot. Idiot. I'm such an idiot. It will be okay, baby. We will leave. And he will never find us. It will be alright. Well, come on in, don't be shy. Don't be scared, I got this apartment from my grandma. I've been renting it out for a year. I want to save up for renovation. But given that it's an antique, the price is right. But for you, it's purely symbolic. I don't even know how to thank you, Serafima. Both the price and the apartment are good for me. Wait, you barely looked at it. You didn't even try to bring down the price? You're not much of a bargainer, Katerina. You wouldn't have fit it in out our market. Anyway, this is the living room. The bathroom is over there. Toilet is separate. No cockroaches. I did a disinfestation last week. The washing machine is as good as new. I brought it from home last week. The kitchen is over there. A gas stove. Do you know how to use it? Yeah, I'm a natural in the kitchen. My dad is a chef was I'm sorry my lady is also alone well I have told you about the work if you're okay with it you can start tomorrow even the money is decent pretty good you'd have enough to pay rent and buy food and the fact that it's dirty I mean only lazy people's hands are clean you really held me out. I wouldn't have got a relevant job without a degree. That's why I'm happy to get any job. Thank you so much. Thank you, honey, for making my Luba happy with unsmiling princess at your hospital, so one good turn deserves another. But you don't have to. I know I don't, but I have the right to repay good with good for once. So settle down. Take the kiss. Thank you. All right.
Катя? Катя? Are you home? Honey? Hello, Nina. Hello. Would you call my son, please? Anya, don't worry. I'll be there soon. Victor, there's... I can see that. Nina, you may be excused. Thank you. So, it's Anya, after all. It doesn't concern you. Why are you here? It's not your home anymore. Victor, Katya is missing. There's no suitcase. Her phone is off. Even Kola doesn't know anything. I thought maybe you took her. Maybe she went to visit someone? No, Victor, no. It's not like her. Victor, please, if she turns up... I'll let you know. Thank you. Victor, what's going on with you? I don't recognize you lately. Katya still hasn't turned up. Maybe I should go to the police? After all, we're technically married. Okay, and what are you gonna tell him? That you took revenge on the girl for your mother's death? Hurt her, kicked her out of the house, and now she's missing. A word of advice. Let her go, and move on. But do move on, Victor. I've tried, I can't. All my thoughts are about her. Where is she? How is she? I think I'm losing my mind. Well, if you need her so much, then find her. Hire a detective. People are found somehow. I already have. It's as if she vanished into thin air. Plus, she won't forgive me. She lost the baby. I kicked her out on the street, pregnant. Enough. Enough of this self-reproach, or I will indeed visit you at an asylum. Then you need to put her out of your mind. That's it. You've said it yourself. She won't forgive you. You think it's that easy? I know it's hard. Do something. File for divorce. Find another one. Beautiful, funny, cheer. Nah. Come on now. Not her, please. Anyone but her. Why? Give me one good reason. She's beautiful, smart. We've been dating for a long time. She doesn't harass me. A reason, you say? Okay. She sleeps with just about anyone. What? With me, for example. If I see you talking on the phone during working hours again, I will fire you. No, no, but there are no orders. It doesn't matter, you are not paid to chat, as long as I'm the boss here. You're not the boss here. Oh, Vita, come on, it's not what I meant, I... I better go. You're fired. What? You're fired from the restaurant. And my life. Vita, are you serious? What's gotten into you? I told him everything. 
I don't know what he's talking about. I do. Vicha, wait, you can do that to me. I've given this restaurant so many years and this gossip monger, he lied about everything. I didn't sleep with him, come on. Nobody said anything about sex. Screw you. Vicha, Vicha, you, you're not a saint either. You cheated on me with that wife of yours. Do you even hear yourself? Shut up. Who asked you to open your mouth? You kept your mouth shut for so long. Yeah, you're right. I was a coward. I should have told him that immediately. You think this is the end? Don't count on it. I will get him back anyway. And the first thing I'll do is get rid of you. Well, good luck with that. You? Well, come in. It doesn't help. Uh. This anesthetic is the only thing I'm holding on. If it's the trauma after the car crash that's bothering you, go see a doctor. What's that have to do with anything? You know, there are more terrible traumas. When it's right here, when it hurts right here. Did she call? She won't call. If anything... I know. I'll call you. You should quit it, pups. You'll drink yourself to death. Do you care? Yeah, I do. Oh, Katya, hi. Hello, Zoya. Maybe it's enough mopping the floor with the baby bump like that. No, it's okay. It's not a big stress. Plus, the doctor tells me to move around more. I don't know, Katya. When I was carrying my baby, I didn't leave the bed at all. My husband even forbid me to sweep the floor. Katya, you know what? Come visit me after work. I'm making this soup. Finger licking good. Thanks, I'll try. All right. Oh. I told you. Where does it hurt? Stomach. It's contractions. What contractions? I'm only seven months pregnant. It's definitely contractions. Okay. Hello? Ambulance? A girl is in labor. Well, 
What is this? The new girl's stuff. Waiting for the staff nurse. She'll come and get it. How's the girl? Critical. Her gestation period is too short for labor. Have you notified the relatives? No, she didn't tell who to call. She can deal with that right now. You know, check her cell phone. Maybe her husband's number is there. Okay, one sec. Yeah, I'm listening. Yekaterina? Yeah, that's my wife. At maternity hospital? Hi. I had a call from you. My wife was brought here recently. She's pregnant. Just a minute. Doctor, you asked me to let you know. He's here. Miss, can I? At the moment, she is in moderate condition. We'll manage to stop the contractions. The baby is alive. Your wife needs rest and no physical activity. I understand. And one more thing. Of course, all professions are held in high esteem. But a pregnant woman, especially this far alone, should not mop floors in a building. She can lift heavy things and she dragged buckets of water. I didn't know, really. My wife and I had an argument and I didn't know about it. Well, you do now. The life for your baby directly depends on your care. And don't leave her unattended. The contractions may resume at any moment. Go on, she is in room 9. Thanks. Over here, please. Well? Hello? Hello, hello. Excuse me. You lied to me. You'll come with me. The doctor said you need rest. I won't have any rest with you. Leave. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving your life now because I love you, Katya. Katya, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I didn't know what I was doing. I was angry. Come back home. I can't live without you. Your father can't live without you. He drinks himself to death. I'm not going anywhere with you. You just don't have a choice. I will take you by force if I have to. And no one will stop me because officially we're husband and wife. So you will come with me and you'll live in my house until childbirth under constant supervision. I don't want to risk you or the baby. And then... Do what you want. And what if I refuse? Refuse? Then I will hire the best lawyers and take the baby away from you, if you don't need it. This is your room now. You can change everything however you want here. I asked for your things to be brought here. If you want to have dinner, I'll ask Nina. She'll bring you some. 
I don't want anything. Will you leave your baby hungry too? I'll tell Nina she'll bring you some. You will pay for everything. Vita is mine. Mine only. You got that? Damn it. <laughs> Come on in already. <laughs> Greetings to you, unsmiling princess. You have finally given me a smile. Because you sit here and spoil such a beautiful day with your sour look. I see you have swallowed a balloon. Where are you planning to fly? To the moon, away from problems. I am one smiling princess, by the way. You should know that by now. I've missed you, friend. Kola. Forgive me if I offended you in any way. Come on, you can't be offended by love. Kola, I've missed you so much. What are you doing here? Is it dead, right? Did my dad send you? Your husband. You know, I never thought I would say this, but I think he really cares about you. He's been wearing me out with his calls. He kept calling, trying to get some news about you. Looks like this dude really loves you. He even declared a truce with your father. They both messed up. He doesn't love me, Kola. He doesn't. He needs the baby, not me. I hope that you're not going to take revenge on him, or it'll be some kind of vicious cycle and children will pay for their parents' mistakes again. I'm not gonna take revenge, don't worry. I just want to put an end to this story. Will you give him a chance? No, I don't see the point. But you love him so much. It wasn't him that I loved. But a nice, kind-hearted... Caring man. I don't even know the one next to me. And I don't want to. But enough about me. Tell me how you are doing. I'm getting married. No way. Yes, we've even filled an application to the registry. With whom? Remember Lenka Sinitsina from our class? The chubby one. Voluptuous. Ola, I'm so happy for you. Will you always appear in my room without asking? Sorry, I got lost in thoughts. Didn't have time to leave. I'll go see my father. Okay, I will drive you. Thanks, but don't bother. Kolya will take me. Am I so disgusting to you? Yes. You could have lied. Why? 
I'm like a prisoner here, as it is. You're not a prisoner, you're a mistress here. I just want to make sure that nothing happens to you and the baby until childbirth. And then? Then I'll leave. And you and the baby will stay here. I'll send the house over to you. I don't need anything from you. I need this. I want to be sure that in terms of finance, you are doing well. I won't follow you or harass you. I just wanted to be born. Her. What? It's a girl. I did an ultrasound. Daughter? So, I guess we have to buy dolls. We need dresses, repaint the room pink. Let her be born first. Right, of course. Yeah, right. I didn't think of that. Okay, I gotta go. Kole is waiting for me. Yeah, okay, call me when you leave your father. I'll come get you. He will drive me. Oh, okay. Dad? 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 Katya. Katya. Honey. You... Why... Why are you here, Katya? Aren't you happy to see me? I am. Katya, of course I am. I'm very happy. It's just that I was afraid you'd never talk to me again, Katya. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was... I was an idiot. I meant well, Katya. I didn't think that it ended up the way it did. Dad, I can understand one thing. How could you lie to Mom for so long? All these years. Katya. I didn't lie. To mom. Fine, kept back. Katya. Mom knew. No. No, that you're mistaken. No woman would agree to share her man. When Wita's mistress came to see me, I almost... I almost lost my mind. Anna came to see you? What do you know? Even you know about her. I'm so stupid. I mean, Katya, of course I know of her. She was his girlfriend before you. Clingy girl. She wouldn't have given Victor away without a fight. What did she say to you? I don't want to talk about it. I see. It's clearly something nasty. She would do that. Come on, tell me. And I'll tell you whether it's true or not. How would you know? When it comes to Victor, I know almost everything about him. To my shame, I have to admit that I know him better than you. Because he grew up before my eyes. You were away at that time, but believe me, he's a very good man. No matter what. Well, she told me that Vita left my mom in the car to die on purpose and boasted to her that he avenged his mother that way. No. No, Katya, it's a lie. It's a blatant lie. I don't know. Maybe I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I did one thing right. I raised and brought up decent children. Victor couldn't leave a dying person. Dad, how can you be so sure? Katya, I was there. I saw everything. 
In spite of all the pain I caused that kid, he risked his life to take me out of a burning car. Inga was already dead by then, but he rushed to her anyway. But an explosion prevented him. In fact, he miraculously survived himself. But she told me... Katya, she would say anything for you to turn your back on your own husband. Don't fall for her provocations. If you still love him at least a little, then fight. Fight for yourself, for your family, for your love. I can't. I can't love a person who I don't know completely. Katya, but you do know him. Remember all the good things that happened between you. How you laughed together. How you were sad together. How you talked to each other. It's all Victor, Katya. It's all Victor. I know since he was a kid. A kind, caring man, good friend, and a wonderful son. You should understand. He did not take revenge on you for his mother. He took revenge on himself, because he can't be evil. It eats him up inside. Daddy. Katya. Yes, Katya? How are you feeling? Yeah, everything is okay. Thank God. What? Say, could you come get me from my dad's? It's raining outside and Kolya had to go to the institute. Of course I will. Okay, I'll be waiting at the underground parking lot. Goodbye. Katya! 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 You shit! Katya! Don't die, you hear? Katya! I love you, Katya! Shit! Are you the husband? Yes. Then it's for you to decide. The condition is critical. You have to choose either the wife or the baby. I'm afraid we can't save both. The wife. Save the wife. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter. But you understand that... Katya will never forgive you. I'll never forgive myself. <coughs> there. She's been sitting like that for about 30 minutes. Did she really do that? Yeah. Whoa. I mean, a person must have limits. Unfortunately, not everyone does. I knew you'd find me. It was stupid to do it with my own car. I should have stolen one. Look, you almost killed a person. Don't you feel any remorse? Almost? So that Edith is still alive? Oh, 
please. Your wife's condition is serious, but not critical. There's every chance that she will recover soon. And the daughter? I won't lie. It's a miracle that she's alive, but... There's no chance the girl will make it through the night. She's very premature. Doctor, but there must be something you could do. I will do anything, any operation for any price. I'm even ready to find a donor. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. But there is something you can do for your daughter. Pray for her. God is merciful. My God. Victor, don't you dare falling into despair. As long as she's alive, there's a chance. <laughs> Now I understand you. A father will do anything for their child. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please help me. Dad, Dad, I'm... I'm scared. Baby, my baby, my baby daughter, where is my baby? Blow out the candles. Are you ready? Wait, do it. <laughs> 